The TTC says it plans on restoring Harborfront streetcar upgrades before the Taylor Swift concerts in Toronto. Beginning today, the TTC will begin modernizing the streetcar power network on Queen's Quay and Fleet Street, which runs almost three kilometres between the Harborfront Tunnel and Strawn Avenue. Swift's Toronto leg of the Eras Tour at the Rogers Centre starts on November 14th. And for more on the project and what it means for commuters, let's bring in TTC's spokesperson, Stuart Green. Always great to chat, Stuart. So let's talk a little bit about more about uh, what the TTC is doing. What kind of work is being done here? I thought you wanted to talk more about Taylor Swift, but okay. Uh, <laughs> we could shake that off for later in this, uh, this interview. <laughs> I see what you did there, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so really this is work that we're doing. It's a continuation of the uh, the power upgrade that we're doing. Um, of course, the, the work that we're doing on Spadina is an example of that. We just finished some work on St. Clair as well. So this is all part and parcel of the, uh, the upgrading of the overhead network. And really it's all about making sure that the overhead network is resilient and robust enough uh, to deal with the additional streetcars. Uh, most people will know we've ordered about six the extra streetcars, so we're going to have about uh, 264 streetcars. Uh, not all will be on the network at the same time, but as you add more streetcars to the network, the power needs to be uh, available to, to supply to those vehicles. So that's really what this is about. The work that we're doing on Queen's Key is going to be in, in three stages, three phases, uh, starting, as you mentioned, uh, this past weekend, uh, leading right through until early next year, uh, you know, be weather dependent in the winter. Um, but but really right now we're focusing on the area between the, uh, the tunnel at Union Station uh, all the way over to Spadina. Uh, and then in October, we moved from Spadina to Bathurst and we started addressing that section. Uh, but of course, uh, as we get later into the year, we, we, we bump up against the Taylor Swift concerts. Uh, and of course, we want to have full service available. So what we're going to do is we will restore full streetcar service during the Taylor Swift concerts, uh, I, you know, when, when those are on only. Uh, we'll also add some service for those shows, just by the way. Um, and then toward the, uh, this, the third phase uh, is sort of uh, further west, so from Bathurst Street West. Uh, so again, we're going to have bus replacement running. There are about eight streetcars, uh, so it's not a terribly busy route, but it's an important route. So about eight streetcars run in normal times. We're going to have about 20 buses uh, running in peak times to to uh, help people get around. The eastbound buses will be able to use the uh, streetcar right-of-way, something they can't do on, Saint, on Spadina uh, or on St. Clair for that matter. Uh, but fortunately, the eastbound buses on Queens Key can use the streetcar right-of-way, so they'll be out of mixed traffic. So that's some of what's happening. Of course, all this information that I've just rambled off mm -hmm. is on our website as well. Uh, Stuart, I got to ask, uh, you know, we're talking about modernizing the streetcar power network along Queen's Key. You know, the, the, the new streetcar tracks, or are not necessarily new, but uh, the redevelopment down on that particular part of the city, uh, this is a project that's been kind of ongoing and kind of for the last, I don't know, 10, 12 years or so when they redeveloped Queen's Key. But it seems as though there's a lot of these new upgrades, and I'm curious, why wasn't these things done when there was the revitalization in, in the first place? Or is this something so that you, is an ongoing maintenance project? Yeah, so if you think about it, I mean, you know, the, the Queen's Key area, the, or the Queen's Key line for us is one of the, one of the one, was one of the first ones that was done. Uh, so like like St. Clair was one of the first ones that was done with the uh, the the, uh, the newer overhead system, uh, which is called the pantograph system. I won't go into the technology of it, but uh, basically it means supplying better power and, and cleaner and more power to the vehicles. Uh, the, the challenge that we have, of course, is that uh, you know, we didn't. We never envisioned having this many streetcars in the network. Uh, so we, you know, we just weren't ready for it, and and that's the honest truth. This, uh, these upgrades uh, will make us future ready, so that when we get those extra streetcars, we'll have enough power, enough good, resilient power in that system uh, to to make sure that all the streetcars can run efficiently. And, and to avoid some bad blood, are you going to be increasing services on many of the other uh, internal routes and kind of localized routes here in the city? Because uh, I, I can imagine when. Taylor Swift comes to down, it's um it's going to be like a hurricane. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. Messy. Well, I mean, look, I'll be I'll be honest with you, Jamie. We don't have a blank check here, so uh, <laughs> we we have to uh, oh, touche, right? So uh, we we uh, we are going to add service for for when uh, when uh, Taylor's in town uh, because it's important that we, and we we anticipate that a lot of people, for example, will be staying in in uh, in, in short term rentals or hotels uh, near the Rogers Center. So uh, this, of course, will be a key corridor for people to get uh, to and from uh, you know the, the Rogers Center from the south. Of course. 
from the north there's the subway and and, and uh, the, the King Street car for example so we'll have we'll have plenty of service out there uh, during those concerts you know we are used to running uh, for big crowds at Rogers Centre when you think about you know 50 50,000 people for a Jays game or Blink 182 or whatever but this is a bit different because we'll have so many people coming in from out of town the travel patterns will be very different so we're we're working on that it's a no blank space for any for for commuters right we can keep doing this all day i'm sure <laughs> right thank you so much